Hi, I'm Commissioner Mitchell. Welcome to the new Splost Up to the Minute update. Hopefully I got that right. But with that being said, here's the deal. We're giving you updates to the minutes of what's happening with your penny splost and what's going on in Douglas County. I've got my special guest and I'll let you guys introduce yourself because these are the experts. I'm only the one just kind of opening the show, but you guys are the expert. Introduce yourself to it. Uh, yes, I'm David Good. I'm the Splost Communications Director. And I'm Terry Gable. I'm the Program Manager for the Splost Program. Okay, now so what? This is all about. We're going to give you some up-to-date minutes of what's happening with your penny splost and what's happening here in Douglas County. First, let's talk about this road. What we're where we're we at now. Uh, this is one of the splost updated projects that you guys are dealing with, and it is. This is part of. Uh, this is Kilroy Lane. Okay. Uh, it was part of the 2018 resurfacing. So, Douglas County dedicated 18 million dollars out of the splost program uh, to keep your roads and streets uh, repaired and and maintenance done on them. So this was a 2018 uh, package. It, uh, C.W. Matthews had a contract. All the work was completed. It was about 12 roads, uh, all new surface and all new striping. So that's a, that's a key to keeping your infrastructure up to date. Um, so we're doing, we're doing great with that. Next year, we'll, we'll start out with 2019. Now that's only one of the roads, one of the, the many 12. roads that we've got right. that's gonna be a part of the updates. Correct. However, let's talk about where we're standing now. We're in front of fire station number three. three. Number three. Yes. And you got to see there's a lot that's going on with that splashed up to the minute update. You want to talk about what we got here and then we'll go inside and see kind of all the construction that's going on inside. Sure. So this was done under the fire department. Um, we had about $32 million committed in that department. Uh, this particular project was one of the renovations, renovation projects. Titus, Titus Construction was awarded the contract back last fall. Uh, it was approximately half a million dollars. It was a major renovation, one of the larger renovation projects that the fire department will do. Uh, it w we completely gutted the inside of okay. the building, uh, all new wiring, all new electric, uh, electrical, um, HVAC system and plumbing, all new kitchen, living quarters. What's the magical number? What's that number we're dealing with? The, the, For the, this particular the dollar amount? Yeah, the dollar amount. Uh, yes. We're going to be right at $500,000, just a little over that to complete the, to complete the renovation. So they're on schedule and, and on budget. On schedule, yes. on budget, and that's a good thing. Now, what we're going to do now is can we walk inside and just so our viewers sure. can see what's happening inside? Yes, and then we'll talk more about some updates as to what's happening with our spots dollar here in Douglas County. Okay? Yes. We're going to walk inside. Come and go, join us, guys. Come on. Okay. So, wow, this is, this is pretty interesting. So, um, Anything you want to add about what we can expect in this building? Um, no, other than just it, it was, again, it was a complete renovation. Okay. Uh, we did a great job. We actually had to move the fire crews out, uh, had them temporary housing. Uh, that was a big part of it so that we could just come in and completely gut it. So the uh, Titus Construction has done a great job of with the project. Again, it's on schedule and on budget to be done by and, the end of the month. And you know the commissioner like on budget, on schedule. Yep. So yep. good stuff. But let's talk about three more maybe big projects that's going on in Douglas County. Okay. First, let's hit the 20 the $15 million project about this big radio system that we got coming here in Douglas County. Uh, Motorola has that contract. And uh, again, they're, they're on schedule uh, to be completed by the end of the year. They'll yes. start testing this summer. All the towers, we had nine new towers uh, that'll be up and running. It's really gonna make a huge difference in communications with EMS. Yes. Um, but they have done, a, again, have done a great job. That, uh, from a dollar standpoint, that was our largest project. Yes. Uh, was, the, was the radio system. Now, correct me, we should come in definitely budget or more or less under budget because we've, we've had a couple of good savings, am I correct? That's right, and, and Motorola came in with uh, under, under our estimated cost. Yes, good, good. For the project. David, can you fill us in on the Senior Citizen Center? Another huge project where your splash dollars are being spent. But, well, as you know, that center started out being about 14,500 square feet. Ah. And now it's, now it's up to 18,100 18. square feet. And right now, and it was able to fit into the location, which is over there, of course, in your district, District mm -hmm. 1, over there by uh, fire station number, what is this, fire station number 11, I believe. I think it's 11. Fire station 9 or 11, one of the two, well, but that's okay. Yes. Right, right, yeah. right, side. right yeah. next yeah. to each other. So that's going to be a beautiful addition to Douglas County where our seniors have a place where they can go and actually still play pickleball and do all the different things they would like to do there. And one good thing is yes. now there is actually a swimming pool. It's not a large one like at the aquatic a center. therapeutic pool. Therapeutic, yes, okay, a therapeutic pool. Right. <laughs> you know, for people to be able to get in, as they say, yes. wall of their feet, and then, you know, yes. be able to do all the things there. Exactly. Okay, last but not least, one other big project. What about the Boundary Waters Community Center? That big project, want to be one of the biggest community centers in Douglas County. Right. Um, that one is on uh, 25,000 square feet. Okay. And over there, of course, we have 
it's one of, as, the, as Commissioner Roberts has mentioned, it's a super part. And so therefore, we want to make sure that we're able to have an addition to that part that says, yes. hey, welcome to Douglas County. This is what Douglas County has to offer you. So there's going to be a way to work out upstairs. There's going to be a walk around track along with two gyms. There's going to be a community room and a couple of programming rooms. So therefore, people will be able to have events there. They'll be able to have um, programming. You guys actually program the whole entire center. Exactly. Family reunion. So it really would be a great addition. Now, David, I know we got to get through this here, though, but tell everybody kind of around about time frame. This project here at this fire station, a time frame, a time frame for the community center, the senior citizen center. So we can kind of get an idea about when will we actually be going online, roughly. Okay. You mean, uh, so the, this project, the, the renovations of this building, we, I hope we'll be having a ribbon cut in, in April. Got it. Sounds good. There, and, and these are only estimate days, so don't call us on that one. Okay, go right ahead. <laughs> and then, of course, with the whole entire radio system, we're looking to, as long as everything goes straight with making sure that the on and off switch goes on, we're right. looking for about six months of uh, trying it out and then going live in about seven or eight months. Yes. Am I correct on that? Senior or? Citizen Center, about roughly top of 20... Yeah, um, um, roughly about uh, spring of 2020 and then the multi-purpose center um, sometime that late summer. Okay, yeah, sounds yes. good. Okay, okay. So with that being said, that's our up to the minute SPLOST update. Uh, with that, we love you. Keep listening. DC TV 23, and we'll give you all the details. Again, my name is Commissioner Mitchell. Enjoy the rest of your evening and stay tuned for more updates to come.